U.S. national soccer team really focused conversation on the issue of pay equity and sports as well, where that's an arena where women are often paid less, even if they're outperforming male counterparts. We're obviously not just talking about soccer, though. I mean, look at cycling. Also look, though, at what's happening with one big race in Colorado. Here's Lori Lizarraga. So I've been riding for, um, I would say, like six years or so, and then I've been racing professionally for the last two years. It's an elite group, the world of women's pro cycling. Yeah, it would be professional cyclist Erica Clevenger. <laughs> Erica Clevenger just rode four hours before noon. But the uphill battles she faces aren't just on the trail. Typically, when races start to struggle with sponsorship or, um, you know, staying afloat, usually it's the women's race that gets cut first. A bike race in Colorado, the Colorado Classic, is flipping the script, kicking guys off the trail to make a little more room for women. That's what makes it really exciting that the Colorado Classic has chosen to focus on us. It's exciting and also incredibly unique for any profession to do. And women aren't taken as seriously in a lot of realms that are considered the public sphere. So anything from politics to economics and also sports. Javon um, Archibek yeah. knows a lot about the subject. It's her job at the Gender Institute for Teaching and Advocacy in Denver. Changes are definitely happening, um, but women do still need the advocacy of people in positions of power to help achieve equality. The Colorado Classic All Women's Race is just that. For next, I'm Lori Lizarraga. <laughs>